Did you see that? Energy made that block move. Energy caused this car to roll down the ramp. Um, in the first few weeks of school, fourth graders will be thinking about energy, um, all kinds of energy, uh, light energy, sound energy, chemical energy, um, gravitational energy, uh, and we'll be dealing with potential energy and kinetic energy and looking at ways that um, energy can be used to do work. And so the very first activity we'll be doing is looking at cars rolling down a ramp. Now this car I made, oh, maybe 15 or 20 years ago. I cut out circles, had dowels, and I, I made it out of PVC pipe. And I um, used these straight connectors so that I could actually turn and adjust the wheels if they got out of balance, you know, because I, I didn't know if I could drill holes straight. So so that's this is my, my very first kind of car. It just happened to be sitting in my office. Um, it was actually was left in a room all summer long from a festival we did at the end of last year. But but this is this is you could roll anything down a ramp. You could roll toy cars. You could roll bottles of water. You can um, do anything. And what I want kids to think about is, you know, what what causes this car to roll down a ramp? And you might ask them and say, you know, which way is gravity pulling? And I bet you there'll be a few kids in your class that say gravity is pulling that way. And so we want children to think about that and to say, well, what if I let go of this block, what's going to happen with this block? Well, it falls straight down. It would be really freaky if I let go of the block and it suddenly went at an angle like this car. So the kids are going to be asked to explore energy in two ways during our first lesson. One is to roll a, a car down a ramp and the, the ramp has marks on it so they can measure the height. So here it's at six and they roll it and it moves a certain distance. Now if they move it up to maybe 16 and let it go, what do you think is going to happen? Well, it, it, if you hit it head on, I missed it for some reason. But if you do it at 16, it should push it a lot further and it does. And so what students will be doing is they'll be doing one of two activities and it'll be up to them. Probably half the class will do one and half the class will do the other. One will be to measure the displacement when the car hits a block and the other will be to just measure how far the car rolls um, and look at rela the relationship between the height of the car on the ramp and how much energy that car has. And we're going to measure that energy by the displacement of the block or how far the car rolls. And so we developed a handout that looks like this. And right up here, we're going to ask the students to write about the relationship that they're going to um, study. Then there'll be a diagram. And then down here, they're going to write what they discovered, citing evidence from their data and the graph. And what I want children to notice is that there should be a pattern to their data. And so um, that's our first lesson um, for the week, is to, to look at energy and to do some experiments with energy and to gather data and to graph the data and to look for some patterns.